Yo, what's going on YouTube? Today we have another Diamond Dynasty video for you all. And today we got Tom Seaver going up against Matt Harvey in a good game. So make sure you stay till the end. And uh, just a quick thing. If you guys have any questions, make sure you leave them down below in the comments so that I can get to them in the Q&A uh, tonight. So... I'm not sure the Q&A will go up tonight or tomorrow, but make sure you get those questions in for this week, and I will answer them. So you can either leave them down below or go check out the Madden Gauntlet video of the Q&A and put them down there. So, getting into the game, we already go into the bottom of the first inning. We do surrender a nice bunt. I don't even know why I'm calling it a bunt. This guy was a cheeser, but uh, I guess I do it too, so I'm not going to... Complain too much as uh, we do get out of the inning anyways. But then our best two guys arguably get out to second base and Ted Williams flies out to shortstop. So we go down one, two, three, and we go into the bottom of the second or the top of the second, I should say. And we already got one out there. Fly out to right field and a base hit up the middle for the next uh, batter that was Jason Hayward. So then uh, we do get a double play, get out of the inning. We head into the bottom of the second, and we are looking to get some runs here. Right there, we get our first hit of the game with Nolan Arenado, and that ball goes into center field, and we got ourselves a hit. Then Bryce Harper comes up, and D. Gordon at second base can't handle the ball. We get to first, and we have men on first and second. Unfortunately, Anthony Rizzo turns a double play on us, and... Uh, well, there's two quick outs. So, we did get a man over to third. That was Nolan Arenado, but he does not score after uh, the next batter flies out to first base. So, we head into the top of the third inning. Start out with a strikeout there. This is his pitcher, Matt Harvey. He also strikes out. And D. Gordon, we strike out the side right there with a clean throw to first. We head into the bottom of the third inning. Now, Yogi Berra's up, and that's a deep fly ball out to left field. Right at the wall, it was caught. Not sure if the wind was blowing in or if just got warning track power, but we do not score, and it is still 0-0 as we head into the fourth. There is a fly ball to left field that will be caught by Ted Williams, and there are two outs already, and then we strike out Yoenis Cespedes to finish off the side. So bottom of the fourth inning now, created player. Clem Hawks just grounds out to the uh, pitcher, and look at Ted Williams. He went deep, and that's going to be a home run getting us on the board early. That's a, well, I guess it's not that early, but a 1-0 lead, and uh, there we go, taking an early lead, like I said, 1-0. And we go into the fifth inning, so we do score first in this game, which is always good. And uh, we get two quick outs right here to first base as well. So we already have two outs, like I said. And there we go, get the third out right there with a fly out to second base. So let's see if we can increase our lead. There's Anthony Rizzo. He's just going to ground out to second base. One out already. Troy Tulowitzki's up next, and look at that. He's going to hit it into the gap. And his shortstop will not be able to throw out Troy Tulowitzki. Next play, look at Yogi Berra sending it deep once again. This one will also be caught right out there by the warning track. And Troy Tulowitzki would not run home or to first again. And that just crushed me right there. I mean, we would have had two outs. But still, we could have maybe made something happen. And uh, we don't, so it's still 1-0. to zero. You guys saw a deep fly ball there was caught by Clemhawks. A strike out there and a ground out to second base and the side. So bottom of the sixth inning, this game going really quickly. That is Rod Crew flying out to left field in foul territory. One out. Clemhawks is up next, and he's going to hit a base hit to the left side, getting it into left field. That's going to be a hit for us. We steal all the way to third, and watch this. His pitcher missed the ball, and we're going to end up scoring. We sent Clemhawks right there, and we now lead 2-0. to zero. And then a nice hit and run by Nolan Arenado gets Ted Williams over to third base. But look what happens. I thought I was going to play this a little smarter. I thought I sent uh, Nolan Arenado to second, and he would throw to second. Try to get him out instead of Ted Williams at home. Bad play on my part, but we do lead 2-0 to zero still. So, well, never mind. Make that 1-2 to two as a guy hits a huge home run right there. 
Dead center field, and we only have a one-point lead. He hits another fly ball out to right field. We do catch that with Bryce Harper. And in an 0-2 count, we strike out Jason Kipnis. So we do have a one-point lead in the bottom of the seventh inning, and Bryce Harper is going to get a base hit to start things off. We want to increase our lead here, make it 3-1. to one. If not more, we're going to sacrifice... That is uh, Anthony Rizzo. He was almost safe there. And then look at this glitch that happens. I don't know what happened there, but uh, I'm pretty sure I would have been thrown out if I went to third, so I kept it safe. And then Troy Tulowitzki hits a deep fly ball out to right field. This should allow us to tag up and go to third. And that's exactly what we do. Looking to capitalize on our lead right here. Make it 3-1. to one. We bring in Johnny Bench as he brings in Anthony M Andrew Miller. But we cannot... Get the run home as we fly out to right field. So we bring in Pat Neshek. I think I had him in last inning as well. But uh, he's going to get a first strike out there on Jason Hayward. And then on an 0-1 count, Paul Goldschmidt. Yeah, it's Paul Goldschmidt. He's going to fly out to first base. And we already have two outs. Looking here with an 0-2 count on Brian McCain. He's going to strike out as well. So bottom of the eighth inning, we bring in that is Winfield. And he is just going to ground out to the catcher and uh not much better there as uh rod carew flies or grounds out to the first baseman our last chance here to get a run home we do ground out to second base so top of the ninth inning we need three outs no runs allowed here we'll already get one strike out there's a fly ball to center field that's two outs, and on the last pitch, our created player, or his created player, flies out to center field. And we win the game 2-1, to one, clutch game for us. Uh, came up big with a nice uh, missed ball score that allowed us to take a 2-1 to one lead. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you hit that like button. Five likes, video tomorrow. And make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.